<laughs> he kind of caught us off guard. I wasn't ready for that. If you want to swing him my way, I'll pull him out for you. If you can, I mean, let him get tired because he doesn't seem like he's really tired. I'll just get him in here and then we'll deal with him. That's a nice fish. That's pretty above average for here. He pounded it. He did. Yeah, that was great. That's awesome. Send that to CJ. He'll be pissed. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? Joe Simpson here. That was Dana catching a really nice fish on a popper. He's down from Minnesota visiting family. So they asked me if I would take him out and get him on some fish because he was getting a little cooped up in the house. So I took him out and hopefully I did well. So I'll show you a few more catches that we had later that day. But first I want to unbox some tackle warehouse lures that I just picked up, walk through those with you, and then I'll show you some fish catches. So I've been fishing a lot of frogs and a lot of spinner baits. I'm probably going to be slowing down on the spinner baits things will be shifting a little bit but i've been using these war eagles and i really like them a lot so i got a couple of these war eagle 316 smaller finesse spinner baits and i think they're really the ticket uh, if you guys know pat my friend pat he uh, bass fishes with me a lot at these ponds and his favorite frog is a kaira frog and it's a white version of it and i wanted to get a couple of different colors in that same frog that frog's only $9.99, and one thing I do like about that frog is it's a really excellent walker. Uh, it's one of the few small frogs that walk well. Like, I like my, I'm a DeBeat frog, and I think it's a perfect morsel bite for a bass, and I can hook up perfectly with that lure, but it doesn't walk nearly as good as a Kyera, and I do notice from time to time when I'm fishing with Pat, fishing for frogs, that walking motion seems to be doing the trick for him. So figured I'd give it a shot. And I also have an IOB as well. So let's walk through some of these colors and we'll go from there. These are all three sixteenths ounce lures and they're called finesse spinner baits. So these are little guys. They're bigger than your real tiny spinner baits. And I think these look really great. The tails are awesome. The size of the bait is perfect. You can throw these on spinning gear. Uh, one of the ones that I really wanted to get a closer look at, this one's called Pond scum perch, I believe. Okay, see, it's got a lot of browns and golds and has a little blue in the back with a little chartreuse added in there. That's going to be a good all around color, I think. I'm pulling all of these out because they're going right on my rack in my garage. I don't know if you guys have ever seen my rack. My neighbors or my friends refer to my garage area as Walmart because <laughs> that's what it looks like. This one's cool. This is a white one, but it has like a black streak in the back. And that's really nice. Now, war eagles are expensive. There's a lot of arguments out there about spinner baits. A lot of people say you can go to Walmart and buy those spinner baits for a dollar. They work just as good. Don't spend all the extra money. And I agree, they do work well, um, but those blades rust out really quick and you get what you pay for. So after about three or four uses, the Walmart stuff starts to degrade pretty quickly. This stuff though, however, works really well. So I'm really pleased with the war eagle uh, and how they perform. So I'm really excited to try these out. They just bend back into shape better. They spin better. I mean, they hit the water and you start reeling and they're spinning. Whereas other ones, sometimes you have to give them a little jerk or a little yank to get the blades going right. But these just seem to always hit the water and just swim out. That's when I usually get my strikes. When I cast it out, it hits close to the bank and I'm drawing it out. Usually within that first three or four feet of the bank, that fish is slamming that bait. So it's really nice to have a bait that'll start spinning properly right away. Sexy shad. Yeah, this is just your classic blue with some chartreuse and white. And all of these blades that I have on these baits are all metallic colored blades. I'm not crazy about the colors, although I do think in stained water, having a red blade or a yellow blade can help sometimes. So these are my four war eagles. I've kind of covered the gamut in color. Hopefully those will work nicely for me. Let's not get into the Kyera right away. Let's talk about the Iobi. The Iobi is a pretty cool frog. It's a little bit, I don't know, it's about the same size as the Kyera actually. But what I like about the Iobi is it's kind of shaped like the scum frog. If you look at this body, it has that like indentation in the back, which makes it real nice for those hooks to be exposed when it's time to set the hook. Um, but the eyes and the paint job on this are excellent. And one thing it has is like a deep keel. And that deep keel gives it that ability to walk back and forth when you jerk it. Um, and walking is something I'm still learning how to do well. Uh, but it's basically you, you jerk that rod tip, but you give back slack after each jerk. And it allows that bait to kind of walk back and forth. And it seems to drive the fish nuts. So I can't wait to get out there with a couple of these frogs and try it out. This is a really excellent frog, the Iobi. 
Um, this frog is 2.5 inches, half ounce floating. Pretty standard for a frog. If you gave Pat the choice of one topwater bait for the rest of his life, I think he would go with the Kaira White. Um, and I think they're great frogs. I just haven't built up my confidence with them yet. And these things are nice because they're little. Okay, so this is the black one. And it just looks like jet black. And it's, it's awesome. They have like a real nice compact body. And you can see these hooks expose really easily. And the so bodies are so soft. But what's nice about these is they have that same keel. And they have that same walking action if you work them just right. And their tails are kind of short. They're all made by Jackal, these that I'm looking at today. These are $9.99. I think the Iobi frog's $12. That's a little pricey for a frog. This is 2.2 inches and a half ounce. So what's cool about this is it's smaller than the Iobi, but it's the same weight. So it casts like a bullet. This thing casts really far. So they're excellent for that. Glitter Hasu. No idea what that means. But this thing is really nice. This is the Glitter Hasu. And, you know, same body, same design, but it's got more of a translucent belly with some silver and the tails have the black and white going on in them. And yeah, this is going to be a really hot one. And on the top here, you've got some silver metallic blue. So we've got the Kyara frogs going here, the black and the fishy looking one. I already have a white one, so I don't need to keep going with uh, different colors there. I think I'm set. And then I have an Iobi just to have one, just to try it out. I thought I'd give it a run. This has longer tails. Um, they say if you take these tails and trim one short and one long, it will walk better. But I'm just gonna kind of try it with the way that it is and see how it works. And then set of war eagles. So you can't really go wrong with those. Those have great colors, good color ranges, and they're perfectly small and perfect for my ponds, or I could take them over to the Potomac and potentially catch smallmouth. So I'm really gonna cover some ground with those uh, spinner baits this summer and see how they work for me. So watch the rest of the fish catches today. We had a great time the other day in the water, me and Dana, we caught probably 15 fish between us. I think he caught more and I ended it with a bang. So stay tuned and check it out and I'll talk to you guys soon, later. I buy the basic $5 ones and I put really good hooks on them. Oh, sure. And I'm just like, good to go. Yeah. Uh, you know, Chris Buchan, right? Pete's friend? Yep. He, uh, he makes these tails for me, check them out. They're nice. Oh yeah, they are. You know, <clears throat> he uh, he's a fly fisherman, oh, okay. and I'll give him a box of hooks, and he'll make me ten or twenty hooks. Just jazz it up a little bit. Yep. See if I can pop my way out of there. Yeah, I'm clean. See, CJ could I think step to the front of the rush like that and go left and right. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. Little one again, or no, yeah, better one. Uh, not too bad. A little better, I think. I think I hope not. About par for the course. Cool. They dig pretty hard here. They like to keep going. And they don't always hit tight to the bank either. They, some of these are hitting out a little farther. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> oh, that's a dandy. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to waste any time with him. Don't want to oh, lose him. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> Get him cleaned up a little. So he doesn't look so scary. That's a good fish. Yeah. That's a good fish. Super nice. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. I hope you do okay. I don't, I don't even know where he came from. <laughs> there you go. That's a good one. Pulling the boat. <laughs> this is awesome. Beats sitting at home drinking coffee, right? Yeah, right? Get this out of your way. I'm telling you, they don't quit. I think you got him clean. There you go. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, you're always a little nervous taking somebody you don't know that well fishing for the first time you're going they're gonna they're gonna come and think this sucks if they don't catch fish i'm like ah the pressure's off he's got some bass in the boat yeah you were right <laughs> he was right there another medium that's not bad look at his back 
Oh yeah, he's got a big old hump on it, doesn't he? He's one of those he's maybe crooked. bird bird survivors. Yeah, totally crooked, isn't he? Yeah, that's so weird when they're like that. Big old hump back. Yeah. Isn't that strange. Oh, that is weird. Look at him when you yeah, like. You just. It's, it's like almost like it. Backbone's broke. Yeah. But he's still still doing it. Doing it, yeah. Good for him. <laughs> there you go. Good one. It feels pretty decent, yeah. Nice. You're still cracking those poppers, man. Yeah, that's. Got a weird little mark on the side. There you go. Quick release. You got one? Yeah. Oh, he's followed it up. A little better one? Yeah. About the same. Oh, heck, that's a big crappie. crappie! That's a rarity. That's a big crappie. Look at that bad boy. That Ooh, that's a slab right there. That's a monster crappie. That's, that's photo worthy right there. That's a nice crappie. Yeah, that's a great pick, man. Cool. That's cool. awesome. I haven't caught a big old crappie like that for a long time. We used to catch those back holes. You know what? I think somebody else has been frog fishing in here. Looks looks like there's some drag lines through that those weeds, oh, doesn't it? Could very well be, yeah. I think my frog's better than his frog, so let's see what happens. There's a fish in here. Right there. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> That's a good fish. That's a good fish right there. Look at my rod. Good oh. lord. Good lord. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the one I've been waiting for all day. <laughs> wow. Woo! Oh. And he came right off. Look at that. Nice one, man. Let's, Let's probably get a picture of that for you, huh? Woo! Now that's the one. Yeah. That's great. He just walloped it, man. There you go. Now that is the frogfish. All right. All right, cool. That's a nice one. Look at that thing, man. Am I rolling? Thank God. <laughs> nice. That's the one you want all day. Cool. Wow.